welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my top five favorite RC cars. I've had quite a few requests for this video. Now, if you are wondering all the RC cars I have experience with, I highly recommend you check out my full collection tour. I will go ahead and leave a card in the corner. I believe I have an upwards of 30 RC cars. And quick disclaimer, the title of the video is top five, but it's actually gonna be my top six favorite RC cars. So I'm gonna go ahead, set each one on the stand right here, and we're gonna count down from number six to number one. So jumping right into the very first RC car, this is the one that I came up with as my number six favorite RC car. Now this right here is of course the Traxxas Summit. Now Traxxas labels this RC as a 110 scale, but if you compare it to any other RC car from any other brand in this side range, this is actually a 18 scale. Now it's very important to point out that this is actually my brushed summit. I have two Traxxas summits. I have a brushless converted one and I have this brushed one. It's actually the brushed one that I put as number six. The brushless one does not make the top six list, unfortunately. And the only reason that is, it isn't because it isn't fun. I have a ton of fun with that machine. It's because it's not that durable. The reliability is just not there. Uh, now this is by far the slowest RC to make my top six favorite RC cars. It actually tops out at 21 and a half miles per hour. Just a speed test on these wheels and tires. These are the Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ tires. Huge tires from RC four wheel drive, mounting up on axial beadlock wheels. Now the other cool thing about the Traxxas Summit, it has a two speed transmission. Um, it also has locking front and rear differentials. So that's what makes this thing so great for crawling. Um, now it does have independent suspension, so it's not like it's not like a realistic crawler. As you can tell, this doesn't really look like a realistic vehicle. It's not based on a scale vehicle, but uh, otherwise this one's just running a bone stock system and there's not really a whole lot to it. So let's move on to number five. Now this right here is my number five favorite RC car. This of course is my one fifth scale low C 5 T. Now it's very important to point out that this is not a gas powered machine. Uh, these only come from the factory as gas powered options. You can't buy them with the electric option, but I did convert this one over to electric. So it's very important to point that out because if it was still gas powered, I don't think it would make my top five list. Um, so let me go ahead, pull the body off, show you what's going on underneath. All right, so like I said, this started off as a gas powered machine and I just didn't get that much use out of it when it was gas powered. It's not until I converted it over to electric system. That's when I've really gotten a ton more use out of it. I'm able to use it in a lot more public spots because the electric really doesn't make any noise. Um, and for the system, what I put in was a Castle 2028 800 kV motor. So it's a huge can motor, uh, nearly the size of a pop can. I've got that um, matched up with a Hobbywing Max 5 ESC, running huge QS8 connectors. It kind of has a combination of kits. I started off with a cheap electric conversion kit I bought on eBay. And for the most part that worked, but then I changed some pieces up because I didn't like the, the motor mount that came with that kit. I didn't like the battery tray. So I switched the battery tray and the motor mount to a different one from a brand called Top Tuning. So now it's got a much better, sturdier motor mount that holds the motor on the back as well as the front. Before it was just on a swivel mount and it did not hold the motor in place very well. And then I also bought the Top Tuning battery tray which has these tabs that help hold the batteries in place. One big downfall of it being electric powered is the range. Um, I, I run two 9,000 milliamp power hobby batteries and I only get maybe 10 minutes of use out of it. So it only lasts for maybe 10 minutes of running and then the batteries are done. And the batteries are super expensive, like $300 for two battery packs. So it's expensive to run an electric RC car like this, of this size. This car is also my heaviest RC car. Even with the gas power motor pulled out and the electric system, this weighs in at 40 pounds. It is a very, very heavy. And the whole time I've owned this car since like 2017, the only thing I broke, I've broken multiple times right here. This is kind of a poor design on the front bumper. The front bumper kind of screws into the front shock tower right here. You can kind of see it screws underneath the front shock tower but then this just rests up against the tower and this tends to break right here. Right in here, when you hit the bumper very, very hard, it breaks right here or the bumper breaks underneath. Right there, right where it connects to the chassis, the bumper breaks. That's the only breakage I think I've had. I've maybe broken a rear bumper once before back here. Otherwise, I've never stripped a pinion gear. I've never stripped a diff gear. I've never had an issue with any of my differentials. Losi makes extremely quality product. So I highly recommend this car and I have a ton of fun with it now that it's brushless. Enough talk about this one, let's move on to number four. Moving on to my fourth favorite RC car, we have got the Traxxas slash two wheel drive. That is right guys, the Traxxas slash two wheel drive, an RC that I wasn't even gonna buy. I bought this RC for content purposes to make a build series out of it. 
and it worked out very well in my favor. Uh, not only did I gain probably the most amount of subscribers from that build series, it also became one of my favorite RC cars. It was an RC I, I wasn't even gonna buy because I already owned a Traxxas Slash 4x4 High Center Gravity as well as a Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate. So I thought, since I already have the four-wheel drive brushless versions, why would I want a two-wheel drive, especially a two-wheel drive brush machine? Because this started out, I can't speak. This started off as a brushed slash, but it is converting over to uh, brushless now. I'll go ahead, get the body off, show you what's going on. This one does, of course, have the low center of gravity conversion kit, uh, which is a Traxxas upgrade part, only costs 40 bucks, and it really lowers that center of gravity, probably by a good inch. It's got the taller battery strap tie down right here so I can run a taller battery. Um, currently, it's running the VXL3S system. This is what would come in the uh, two-wheel drive uh, brushless slash, so the VXL3S, as well as the 3500 kV Valenian motor. Currently, I ha am having issues because the bearing blew out on the front, and we're having issues with the ESC. So I think it's finally time to replace this ESC with something different. I'm thinking something maybe 4S capable. Uh, so stay tuned for that video because, so currently this one's actually out of commission. By the way, real quick, if you haven't checked out the whole Cheapest Traxxas Slash series, I highly recommend you check it out. I'll leave a card in the corner. I'm also running the drag slash transmission in this. So the cool thing about the drag slash transmission, the 272 Magnum R, it has got a fluid filled differential. Unlike the stock uh, Traxxas slash transmission, which just has a planetary diff. Now I do believe the brand new Traxxas slash two wheel drive VXLs, you can buy them with the drag slash transmission in them now. So I highly recommend if you're gonna buy a Traxxas slash two wheel drive with the VXL um, brushless system in it, I highly recommend you look for the one with the 272 Magnum R transmission because that, that um, differential is tunable and it's just overall a lot better transmission, way hardier than the planetary diff it comes with. I do have some entity drive shafts on this one, hot racing sway bars, RPM front and rear shock towers, RPM arms, Proline Power Stroke shocks on this one, very good set of shocks on this. Uh, this one just has a lot of goodies on it. Hot racing steering bell crank, uh, the uh, Traxxas steering blocks, and RPM rear hub carriers. So just a lot of goodies on this one. This one overall just a fun machine. I have a ton of fun with this machine, especially in the sand. Actually, when I go in the sand dunes, if you slap some paddle tires on the back of this, I have just as much, if not more fun with this thing in the sand dunes compared to a four wheel drive slash. It rips very, very good. Now it can be a little bit more likely to get stuck if the rear tires dig in from a launch, but once you get out from a dig, this thing just really gets a move on. It's a ton of fun. I love taking the two wheel drive slash to the dunes and rip it in the sand. So uh, that's number four, let's move on to number three. Moving on to my number three favorite RC car. That would be the Traxxas Slash 4x4. Now this right here is the Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate Basher build. Um, this is technically at this point, it's really a Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate. It started off as a high center of gravity model, but it has everything now that's converted over to basically what the Platinum and Ultimate model have. Now I do already have an Ultimate model, but that is currently the 100 mile per hour Traxxas Slash project, so that's a speed run vehicle at this point. So technically number three I'd probably put as the Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate. So let, let's take the body off. Also I highly recommend you check out the series if you have yet to do so. I'll go ahead, put a card in the corner. Um, this thing has had a lot of upgrades done to it, quite a few. Right now I'm running the uh, short course tires on it, the Proline Blockades. I need to swap these out for the Proline Badlands. Uh, MIP drive shafts. Currently, I'm running some cheap eBay ones on the front because I don't have the correct hexes. We got RPM suspension arms, RPM steering carriers and C hubs, RPM rear hub carriers, um, the GTR shocks off the uh, Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate, RPM front and rear shock towers, uh, the low center gravity conversion kit from Traxxas. Uh, the higher higher battery strap tie down from Traxxas. Also, this has got a brand new power system and actually, if everything goes well and we still have some light once I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna actually test out this system for the first time. Uh, so previously I was running a Castle Copperhead 10 4S capable ESC and a Castle 1412 3200KV motor. Unfortunately, in the last video that I bashed this, I broke the motor shaft. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna replace the motor, but then I'm gonna put that motor in ESC in a different project. So I put this motor in ESC in, in the last upgrade video. It is a Red Cat Racing ESC. It's just a rebranded Hobbywing. So it's a Hobbywing Max 8, basically, with less programmable features. It only has like diff six or seven different things that you can um, reprogram. The actual Hobbywing stuff has more. Um, but this is a Red Cat Racing 150 amp ESC. It comes out of their Red Cat Kaiju. That's their 1A scale, 6S capable monster truck. 
Um, originally this had two leads that had Dean's connectors, but I ended up snipping those off and bring it just down to two leads, a positive and a negative. And then I soldered an XT90 plug on so we can run one battery pack. I'm also using the 1A scale um, 2100 kV, what is it, the 4268 2100 kV motor. This is also the one that comes out of the Red Cat Kaiju. Um, I did have to move the receiver box up here because this ESC is way too big. The receiver box did originally mount down here. There just was not enough room to keep the receiver down here and then the ESC here and the motor there. So I had to resituate some things. Well, I guess it also has a Techno big bone center drive shaft I forgot to mention and it's running the Traxxas Hoff center diff. So this has got a lot of upgrades to it. Oh, and RPM front and rear bumpers too. Forgot about that. Yeah, I did notice in the last video this tore out though. So I might have to replace the front shock tower because it's all kitty wampus because that hole right there actually tore out on the shock tower. So it's all sitting kind of crooked, but it is what it is. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's move on to my number two favorite RC car. Moving on to my second favorite RC car, it is no secret, it is the 110 scale Traxxas Max Monster Truck. So this one is the version one solar flare edition. Um, it has quite a few changes on it. It's got the wide max kit. Um, it's got some eBay special drive shafts, which are holding up very, very well. Um, they were only like 60 bucks for the whole set. I am uh, just recently I installed the uh, version two tires. These are the Traxxas sledgehammer tires, which hook up pretty well. They just balloon up a lot. Uh, taking the body off, this one does have a 6S system in it. So it's built up pretty heavily. It has got, let me try to get out of the sunlight. It has got a Hobbywing Max 6 ESC with the XT90 plug soldered on. Um, I've gone through a few different ESCs. So for the longest time I was running the VXL4S until that finally went out with a critical error. All the red lights were flashing. Then I put in a Spectrum Firma ESC for a short time. But unfortunately that ESC started on fire at the sand dunes in Michigan. Uh, made for great entertainment, but uh, I almost lost the truck. Fortunately, I was able to pull the battery out for the whole RC starting on fire. I'll go ahead and leave a card in the corner. If you want to check out that disaster of a video. So after that, I did not make the same mistake. I went ahead and I bought a super nice Hobbywing Max 6, put that in. Um, I'm still running the Traxxas Max 2400 kV motor with the heat sink and the fan. I'm running a strap system that keeps on braking. Um, so that's why I'm running a zip tie right now because really you have to use a strap system to hold a 6S pack. It's too tall for the latching system. Uh, still running the 2090 servo. I think there's really nothing else going on with this one. I don't think I have any other upgrades, but it's just been a fun machine. Uh, still running the stock body, which has seen better days. Stock body's gotten pretty beaten up, but it definitely has lasted quite a bit longer than it would have if I hadn't reinforced it with Gorilla Tape. Other reason why this is number two is it is the most durable basher I own. The Traxxas Max is more durable than any other brushless RC I own. If you guys have seen the videos where I jumped this thing, I'm not easy on it. The only thing I've ever broken in the whole time I've owned it is one C-Hub. So one of these C-Hubs right here, that's the only thing that's ever broken on this machine. Uh, the steering carriers have a way of pulling out from the pins, but that's not really a breakage. Never broken a shock tower, never bent a shock shaft, never cracked a bulkhead. It is pretty amazing how durable this machine is. I've jumped it in cold weather, warm weather, sand, onto rock, onto dirt, just tons of hard bashing on this thing and nothing's ever broken. Never had a diff issue, never stripped a pinion gear, never, I did break a drive shaft, I do take that back. The stock plastic drive shafts on the Max are not very good. That's the main reason why I put this Max up here because this Max is built better than my version two. Yeah, now if I start building up my version two as stuff breaks, my version two might become my favorite Traxxas Max, but currently it's my version one because it has all the power, it's got all the mods on it. Time to move on to my number one favorite RC car. Moving on to my number one favorite RC car. It is no secret, I've talked about it for years and it has not changed. My favorite RC car is of course, the mighty Traxxas X-Max. Now I actually own three X-Maxes, but I picked this X-Max in particular as my favorite one, mainly because this is the one that is the lightest and the most tailored for bashing. Um, it's got a lot of goodies on it. Let me go ahead and take the body off, show you what's going on. Uh, so this started off as a version one 6S, but when the uh, 8S came out, they released a they released a power-up kit um, where you could upgrade it. So I upgraded it immediately to 8S. So it's been 8S um, for like the last four or five years. This one's by far the most tailored for bashing. It's got the RPM suspension arms on it. Um, it's got a lot of the plastic pieces. I kept a lot of the plastic pieces to save weight. Uh, my other X-Maxes have a few more aluminum bits on it, which really don't make it any tougher. It just makes it heavier. 
Uh, this is actually also the one I just recently put the Vitavon 1.5 mod gear conversion in. For the longest time, I was trying to make the um, belt drive system work, the PNW RC Madness belt drive system. Unfortunately, that just, I could not make it work. It was just a fail. It was fun experimenting, but it just long term was not going to work. So I went ahead and I put in the 1.5 mod gear conversion from Vitavon. About a $100 upgrade, so it's not cheap for these gears, but so far it's held up very, very well. Because uh, that's one of the biggest complaints about the X Max is I was stripping the Mod 1 gears all the time. Now this one does have a Hobby Wing Max 6 in it. The VXL 8S that comes in these is not very good. I've had three of them uh, burn up basically. They're just not very good. They're good for a while, but uh, then they start having issues it seems like once they start getting tired out. This one's also running a huge 1100 kV Hobby Wing brushless motor. This is probably a little bit overkill for the motor. I think the X Max it probably has the best power system is a Max 6 combined with the 4985 1650 kV Hobby Wing motor. I think that's the best motor in ESC setup. Now to run that motor, you do have to run an aftermarket mount like this one. This is just an eBay special mount. Oh, it's also got the RPM rear hub carriers, uh, which have got the larger bearings in it. And it's got the RPM front steering knuckles. Um, the C-Hubs, I don't think they have an aftermarket option from RPM. It's by far the most capable RC car I have. It can make it can make the biggest jumps look small. It can soak up, the suspension can soak up stuff like no other RC car. There's no other RC car this size, smaller or bigger that can soak up jumps the way the X-Max can with these shocks. Um, that's what makes this number one. Now, it does have its issues though. Like it still breaks. Like it's pretty durable, but like you'll still, you'll break differential gears, you'll strip them. Uh, I've cracked bulkheads, I've cracked, um, shock towers, so stuff does break on the X-Max. So it doesn't quite have the same robustness that the Traxxas Max does. It's made from the exact same materials, but this weighs in over 20 pounds. The Max weighs in at like 12 or 13. So you add another seven, eight pounds, and that can make a big difference. Um, but overall, just a fun machine, and this is by far my favorite RC car to this day. And uh, until, probably Traxxas tops itself. I don't think there's gonna be another RC that is going to knock out this as number one. Now it might seem like I'm a Traxxas fanboy because a lot of the RCs in the top six are Traxxas. I think five of the top six are, but it's just because they make good RC cars. Not only do they make good RC cars, they're easy to service. This is kind of like a modular chassis that comes apart. So if you break one part of it, you don't have to replace the whole thing. It's not all trash when you break or crack one thing. So that's the nice thing about the X-Max that Traxxas is very innovative in their designs. Their parts are cheap compared to a lot of other brands. So overall, my favorite machine. I still need to do a speed test. I haven't done a speed test yet with this uh, gearing. We need to do that. But uh, if you guys did enjoy my top five, well, my top six favorite RCs, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell, and stay tuned for future videos. Later.